This is Cruise Roy. This is a CAD program that's web-based. It's free for now and beta version called Onshape. It's at onshape.com. I want to do something I've been having trouble with, and it's a simple thread. No pitches or dimensions put into this, just a simple thread. I will try to do it step by step, say what I'm doing, say it clearly, and hopefully you can match it. First, you want to hit create. Name it. I'm going to name it simple thread. Once you hit OK, your document will open. The first thing you want to do is you want to use only two planes for a thread, front and right. We want to make a circle. So hit the sketch tool. It'll ask what plane. Hit the front plane. I'm going to leave this in 3D mode for right now. Click the circle. I like to use the center circle. I'm going to use the origin just for setting up the circle. Click, we have a circle. Hit the dimension tool. Click the circle. Drag it out. I'm going to make this a five inch circle. Big enough for people to see the threads. We need to extrude this because it needs to be a rod. So now click on the extrude button. Make it as long as you want. I'm going to make it a 10 inch extrude. And you can see it in 3D, a 10 inch extrude. The next step, before you hit anything else, is your helix. Click on the helix box, and you want to be on the face of the cylinder. Click once, there's the helix. In the helix dimensions, I will use turns only, not pitch. Pitch is a technical term for all the dimensions of our actual screw. I'm just going to use turns to give you a simple thread. I'm going to change the, ro the not the rotation, but how many turns on this bolt. I'm going to call it 10. If you notice, the helix changed to 10 turns on this 10 inch rod. Now we're done with that. This is all we need to do right here. We can hit the green check mark. We need to do another sketch to create this thread. We click on sketch. It's asking you for a plane. Use the right hand plane. We need to have the right hand plane facing us so we can watch what we're doing. So right click, view to normal pane. Now you can see it, it's right in front of you. I had a lot of trouble doing this while watching the part. So if you need to remove the part so you can see it better, the left hand side, hit the eyeball next to the part, the part will disappear. Our next step is you have a helix, but you also need an equilateral triangle. Click on your line tool. Get as close as you can to the helix. And click and create an equilateral triangle. I'm making mine horrible so you can see how we can fix it. Uncheck your line tool. So now you can highlight the whole triangle and click the equal sign. If you notice the triangle is equal now. The other thing we need to do is connect this equilateral triangle to the helix. So click the top of the equilateral triangle and click once on the helix. It highlights both objects. Use the pierce tool. Click pierce. Everything is in black. If you see anything in red you've done something wrong. We are complete with the helix, the equilateral triangle, and connecting them together with the pierce tool. We can check out with the green check mark. The last and final stage is to make it actually look like a thread is a sweep tool. Click on the sweep bar. You want to click on remove. The next faces and sketch regions. You click that to highlight it. You want to click the equilateral triangle for that. Now the triangle is highlighted. Next line, the sweep path. You want to check it so it's highlighted. You want to use the helix as your sweep path. You just check it to highlight it. Now you want to check the box that says merge with all. You all complete now. You can hit the green check mark. Now if you notice, it doesn't look like much because we have removed the part. Remember in the beginning, 
we removed the part now we will visualize the part and there you go I will left click and spin as you can see a simple thread and I hope this helps someone else because it was killing me on how to make an easy thread let me remove the helix and this is Cruz Roy with a simple thread on onshape.com and I'm out of here